Man, I don't think I've seen a sky this red in maybe ever. This is incredible. This backpacking trip started out as a quick little hike to an area of desolation wilderness that neither of us had seen before. The trip started out as sort of a shakedown hike to test a new sleeping pad, but it turned into what I think is a core memory that will stick with me for a long time. Permits were pretty easy to get this early in the season, but the deep snow load that the Sierras had got that year meant that low spots often had water in them. Another reason we chose this weekend for the trip was that I had seen a very promising weather forecast for this evening. If we were lucky, there would be enough clouds to catch the sunset while not fully blocking the light. <laughs> Walking through this, uh, this high point, all the trees are very squat. And I think that's because the wind just roars through this, this little canyon that we're walking through, and it probably keeps them from getting very much taller. Or it could just be bad sight, I guess. Pretty cool, though. We got to a fork in the road and one way looked like it kind of went up the hill and then the other came back down the hill and towards the lake and we said oh well let's walk along the lake that sounds like fun uh, unfortunately for us uh, it seems that the trail down along the lake is a little bit impassable this year um, I imagine this much water doesn't flow very often, so you know I'm happy that it's here, but whew, man, that's uh, not exactly what I was expecting. So we're gonna have to double back a little bit and uh, double back and take the high route to get around this, uh, this here water, but still pretty cool. Juniper right here is really cool. Alex is already getting a shot of it over there, but I think I'm gonna get it from a slightly different angle. And then between the two of us, hopefully one of us captures its its essence. Really uh, reminds me of a bonsai tree. Very cool. Cascade over rock. Finally, after seven miles or more, we're finally getting into desolation <laughs> and we'll be ascending up to uh, Rubicon Lake. And it's already very pretty. Well, we seem to have come up against uh, a little bit of an issue. Uh, yeah, I knew that we were going to have to cross this creek, but it's looking a little bit too swift for us. We may have to double back to um, Rockbound Lake and just set up uh, camp there. This might be the end of uh, our advance. I knew it was coming, but uh, still still uh, a bummer that it had to end like this. Oh. 
beautiful. Ah, well, we, uh, we made it. We didn't make it to Rubicon, but uh, we decided that fording the river was not in our best interest. Uh, and so instead, we're here at Rockbound Lake, which is also very beautiful. Uh, I'm scouting around this evening to try and find some spots that might be potential areas where I'll be able to see the um, Milky Way. And then also, because that way is west, the sun will be setting over there and we should be getting some nice uh, alpine glow kind of over on these hills. And so I want to make sure I'm, uh, I've scouted enough to know where to go for that when that comes around. So I'm uh, just walking around, looking for openings. Uh, there's a lot of shrubs around here that make it kind of tough to find good places to look. And so we're okay with not making it because we found a really nice spot and Alex is kicking back with his uh, audiobook and a hammock and I am out on the hunt for photo opportunities. I hope you'll join me. Okay, well, I've spent the better part of an hour, well, maybe half an hour, running around on this hillside looking for a composition. And I know that pretty soon the sun will be setting, and as it sets, I think I'm gonna get some really nice colors on these wild clouds that are back here. And so I'm really hoping that if I'm positioned here, it, I couldn't get to a place where that peak over there uh, that peak over there wasn't being cut off by a tree. Unfortunately, the further you go, it just gets worse and worse. So uh, I'm going to try to maybe get a couple images before it gets to full, um, full sunset. And then hopefully when it hits, it'll really hit and I'll be right where I need to be for it. Well, Alpen Glow did not uh, did not really pull through for me, unfortunately. But uh, I think I'm gonna take some pictures of these uh, clouds with the really cool. Uh, I think it's is it lenticular clouds. Well, either way, uh, I do like the the shape of them behind this mountain. And although they're not a really cool color, uh, I think that you know it might be an okay shot. Well, the photos from that afternoon and evening didn't really turn out like I'd hoped. The dynamic changing clouds meant that the lighting on the landscape was constantly changing, which gave a lot of opportunities for different combinations of lighting with the foreground and the background, but none of the shots came out the way I'd hoped. They all felt a little bit blah, I guess. A couple turned out all right, but I felt that the unique clouds were doing all of the heavy lifting for the photos and the other parts of the composition weren't contributing to the scene. Even if things don't always pan out, it's important to get out there and, you know, try, basically. You'll never take a picture of an incredible sunset if you're always worried that there won't be a sunset to take a picture of. Just when I was about to pack everything in for the evening and head back to camp, my persistence and planning finally paid off. There's an old saying that goes something like, luck is where preparation and opportunity meet. And that evening, I felt like the luckiest person alive. Look at that. I really hope the colors come through in the camera. As the shadow of the mountain behind me continued to creep into my composition, the entire landscape was eventually in shadow. But all that light didn't go away. Instead, it shifted up to the clouds and created the sunset that I'd been waiting for.
Man, I don't think I've seen a sky this red in maybe ever. This is incredible. I, I, oh, breathtaking. The camera probably won't even do it justice. Now that is a job well done. Okay, so as is tradition, I was late, as usual. So, finally made it up here. This is the place we were taking star photos last night. And I missed the really pink sky, unfortunately. But I think I'm gonna hit the, it looks like it's becoming very orange. This is a nice, nice sunrise. Sun and I think as it, as it climbs, some of these, the mountains that I was taking pictures of last night with the Alpen Glow, I think will start to uh, light up on one of their sides. And they also have a really cool, uh, like, you know, what are the, I keep thinking it's called lenticular, I can't remember. Lenticular cloud uh, kind of over it, which I think will make for a really cool picture. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna camp out up here and check it out. So my idea is if I stake out a position near a cool object, such as this old dead tree, looking towards where the sun is going to come up and start just touching the tops of those mountains, way over there, I think it could be cool to have that face lit up with this, this tree. And then on the other side, swinging back around, we've got that mountain that I took a bunch of pictures of yesterday. Ooh, actually, oh, I can't quite see over to those mountains over there, but they're just starting to get the alpine glow. There's too many trees in the way, unfortunately. I can look around and see if there's anything else, but uh, it's likely that's going to be the... just going to have to let that one pass and just enjoy it in the moment. Beautiful. It's starting to light up, but it's not as pink as I would have liked. I think it's lower on the horizon, so the Alpen glow isn't as strong with the pink colors, unfortunately, but it's still a really cool picture, I think. I'm gonna grab a couple snaps of it. Well, the sun has kind of gone behind a cloud that's been forming over the, uh, it's the one actually that all of the, the sunrise is hitting. <laughs> and so I think that might be the end of the sunrise pictures, but uh, I'm confident that I got at least a couple of good ones. And then I'm also doing some cool time lapses of different, uh, different kind of unique phenomena happening around here. I'm hoping that I can capture the, uh, the clouds over the top of that mountain as they form and kind of reform and dissipate and things like that. So I think that's the end of morning photo shoot for the time being. I also decided to make a quick run over to the river that had stopped our progress the day before to grab a long exposure picture.
After a nice leisurely breakfast, we packed up and got on the trail. Our forecast had said it was supposed to get even windier that afternoon. What do you think of the weather? Windy. It's real windy, isn't it? You can see the white caps out there. <laughs> 